Abruptive placenta or placental abruption is a premature separation of normally located placenta after 22 weeks of gestation when it is more than 500 gram and prior to the delivery of the fetus. Abruption means breaking away. Its incidence is 1 in 150 to 250 deliveries. Placental abruption is a significant cause of perinatal mortality in 15 to 20 percent of the cases. It causes maternal mortality in 2 to 5 percent of the cases. Placental abruption is a dangerous complication during pregnancy in which the placenta prematurely detaches from the uterus before the birth. The types of abruptive placenta include external abruption, relatively concealed abruption, and the concealed abruption. The other classification includes subchorionic abruption, which is the bleeding between myometrium and placental membranes, the retroplacental abruption, which is the bleeding between myometrium and placenta, the preplacental abruption, which is the bleeding between placenta and amniotic fluid, and intraplacental abruption, which is the bleeding within or inside the placenta. The etiology of abruptio placenta include arterial hypertension, uterine fibrides, previous placental abruption, uterine infection, maternal age, and the smoking. Placental abruption is prevalent in high birth order pregnancies. The other causes include torsion of the uterus, trauma or direct blow or MVA, sudden uterine decompression like in case of the twins and hydramnios, short cord, preterm premature rupture of the membranes or prolonged prom, thrombophilias, abnormal placentations. Subchorionic abruption results from abruption of the placental margin. This location is preferred for the accumulation of hemorrhage since the placenta is firmly attached to the myometrium while the membranes are easily separable. Signs and symptoms of abruptive placenta include sharp abdominal pain or back pain due to myometrium rupture because retroplacental blood penetrated through the uterine wall into the peritoneal cavity. The other symptom is uterine tenderness because the blood is concealed between the placenta and the decidua while the pressure builds up, forcing blood through the fetal membranes into the amniotic sac. The buildup of blood causes uterine tenderness. The other symptom include vaginal bleeding due to decidual necrosis, blood vessel rupture. Bleeding occurs due to distended uterus. It cannot close the open vessels. There are signs of maternal shock. When the blood accumulates between the separated placenta and uterine wall and there is bleeding into myometrium resulting in tissue damage, there is increased tonicity and inability of the uterus to relax between the contractions. There is fetal distress in abruptive placenta. It's because abruption interferes with the fetal circulation. Decreased uterine perfusion, maternal hypovolemia, and uterine hypertonus disrupts the maternal and fetal blood exchange. Thus, if a significant amount of the blood is lost, fetal distress occurs. This is the ultrasound appearance of abruptive placenta. Here we have placental abruption. This is placenta. This is the blood clot. The laboratory tests which should be done include complete blood cell count, blood type and screen, urine analysis, liver function test, renal function test, prothrombin time, APTT, fibrinogen level, FTP, fibrinogen degradation products. The maternal complications include maternal mortality, hypovolemic shock, renal failure, DIC, BPH, resensitization, complication of the massive transfusion. The fetal complications include fetal death, hypoxic brain injury, IOGR, neonatal anemia, and congenital malformations. For its management in case of the term gestation and hemodynamically stable state, plan for the vaginal delivery with cesarean section for the UL indication along with the continuous fetal monitoring. But in case of the term gestation hemodynamically instable case, we go for resuscitation of the patient along with urgency section unless vaginal delivery is imminent. In case of the preterm gestation and hemodynamically stable case, do conservative management. In case of the preterm gestation and hemodynamically unstable state, go for immediate delivery and resuscitation. Decide appropriate mode of the delivery, vaginal delivery preferably, cesarean section if maternal and fetal compromise. Immediate delivery is indicated when DIC sets in or patient becomes unstable. Consent should be taken for hysterectomy in case of the bleeding. 
Antidiimmunoglobulin should be given to all after the presentation with the APH in case of RH negative mothers. So thank you so much. That was all about Hepatitis placenta. Subscribe on Apps and Gynae. Allah Hafiz.